Hi, hey, ho, hi, hey, ha. Welcome to DLG Repping's Daily Transfer. It's back again, yes. And I'm here, delighted and ecstatic about this show. Uh, and it's all live on my channel, hosted by the one and only and truly DLG Reppin. Yes, I said it. DLG Reppin. Dele, London Guna. Romeo, Echo, Papa, Papa, Indigo, November. Before I get started, yeah, make sure you subscribe. Ugh. Cut, cut. Make sure you smash the thumbs up like button, yeah? Push that thumbs up like button for me. Make sure you um, share this channel all over the world, yeah? virally friends and relatives especially flood my comment section with your opinions your thoughts your response all positive feedback um flooded in my comment section below and yes subscribe to dlg repping you're subscribing to the one and only the man who loves to rep football and arsenal and this is um to do with my um, Arsenal, um, my Arsenal as a club and as a team, because um, we're in the market. We're going to be, we're meant to be busy with the in and outcomings. And um, let's start off with um, an incoming here, Yves Bazuma. Now, there's been reports in the last 24, 48 hours that um, he has asked Brighton not once, not twice, but four times to push through his move to Arsenal. Now, I don't know where these sources are coming from. I don't know how true this is. But if he's saying it, and if it's been reported that it's the fourth time he's asked Brighton over Albion to push through his move to Arsenal, then it sounds genuine. But I'm not going to get carried away here and get exciting. excited. It's exciting. You know, a, um, a top quality competitive number eight wants to sign for us. However, he's coming into a, a club where it's going to be in a mess. It's still in a mess. And for me, the DNA of that club needs sorting out from the top right down to the bottom. So all is not great. But bringing in a used Brazuma would give um, a boost to the squad of players, to maybe the club, and obviously the club's supporters, such as myself, Yves Buzuma. Next um, incoming guy, um, this is meant to be closer than any one that we can sign at the moment. He goes by the name of Andre Anana. Now, um... He's um, apparently agreed personal terms. Um, he hasn't done his, um, We haven't heard any news about him doing his medical, but he's agreed personal terms, and um, he's. It's possible. I don't know how likely it is, because we haven't heard anything for the last couple of days. But um, it sounds like he's going to become an Arsenal player soon. Um, going back to Yves Bazuma, um there's this report somewhere, I've read it from God knows where on the on YouTube, that um, he's agreed personal terms with Arsenal. I think anyone can agree personal terms with Arsenal, but not get the medical done, let alone the whole deal. Right, um, the last of the incoming here is um, a guy called Zelik. Now, this is um, a Turkish international who I would expect to see him in the Euros. For me, he's... 24 years of age, which is just, which is a fact. Um, he's a right back, and he's a Turkish international, and he plays for Lille, the French um, Ligue 1 champions. Now, he could stay for one more season and play in the Champions League for Lille. You know, represent um, his club in the in Europe's um, biggest um, club um, game in the world. We don't know um, the ins and out of this story, 
But one thing for sure, Arsenal are in the hunt for a right back. And you talk about the in outgoings, um outgoings are talk we're talking Hector Bellerin. Um He's been linked with Atletico Madrid. Real Betis have made um, inquiries, inquiries about him. Um, will I be sad to see him go? Based on his form, no. Based on his popular in the dressing room, I may be a little bit upset because he is a popular figure in the dressing room. But for me, his performances as a footballer and a role, his, his performances as a role model and footballer have been nothing short of. Um, like luster and he just gives me the impression that he doesn't want to play football again and Arsenal need players who want to play for the club and I don't get that impression with Bellerin now another um, Arsenal player who possibly epitomise um, the, the disappointment of the last 10-15 years is Greenwich Xhaka for me um He's become a um, a key player in some senses, but for me, he's just never been the ideal. Oh, for freak's sakes! He's never been the ideal um, player, midfield player that um, we we're looking at. Um, he was never a num he was never a defensive midfield player. Oh, quiet! Uh, excuse my yawn. I'm yawning because I'm really am tired. Um. I like he's a few. I do like um, the battle inside of him. I do like it's things about Shaka that um, I admire. Um, yeah, he's a strong leader in the dressing room, a strong character in person. But for me, as an all round um, a partner for Thomas Partey, that will be used by Zuma because I feel that Shaka's always going to be less superior than you, you um, used by Zuma. <laughs> Alexander Lacazette, um, now he's got, um, I think he's got a year or two left of his contract and um, we will not be selling him for more than the um, price that we paid for him back um, three, four years ago. Um, we'll look, if we can get it, well, we'll, we'll be looking to get 20 to, tw to 30 million at tops for him. Alexander, Alexander Lacazette, he's not had the bad season, but definitely not a good season. He wasn't the worst performer, performing Arsenal player throughout the campaign, but for me, he's always had a stop and start. Um, he's always had a stop and start. Um, stop, yeah, stop and start off um, based on his form. It's always been stop and start. So for me, um, I'll be looking at the situation with Lacazette carefully. Um, Eddie and Ketia, I feel that he's a ten to fifty min, ten to fifteen million pound player. Uh, I don't rate him um, as much as I rate him um, following Balogun, and and that's the truth. Eddie and Ketia has had numerous opportunities. He's just not the striker that we can call elite. And for me, um, I do like his work rate. He does, he does put pressure on defenders and the goalkeepers when they have the ball. But for me, in, if you if you're talking about the clinical side of him, it's just not there. And that's where I need a, a striker in the summer, who can be very ruthless with his um, finishing, especially when he's got the ball, especially when he's got the ball in the uh, six-yard box. The first thing you should do with two touches, one for control, one to pull it into the back of the net. Can't be any sim more simple. For, I can't be any more clearer than that. Um, any other um, player to talk about? Yes, um, I know that with the um, outgoings, I know that David Lewis has been released along with um, Matt Ryan and um, Danny Ceballos who's got returned back on loan. And I understood to my liking, to my understanding, um, to my 
but to my unliking, Martin Odegaard has been released. And um, we've been hearing news of today um, that has broke a couple of hours ago that Emiliano Berendia will be going to Aston Villa as the, the two clubs, Norwich and Aston Villa, have agreed a fee for Berendia to be transformed from Norwich City to Aston Villa. If you ask me, I'm not too disappointed because the last time out for Brendia in playing his trading in the Premier League, one goal and how many assists? Very little. So for me, if we want to go for a number 10, I would um, like to talk a little bit about Hassan Moua. I think this guy is a serious talent, an exceptional serious talent. Um, yes, he's not the tallest, five foot five, maybe five six at tops, but a wonderful footballer, I believe. And um, Leon Olympic Lyonnais rate him very highly, and um, I think the president Ocla, um, oh, oh, um, Ocle, Ocla, wherever you pronounce his own surname, he would want um, a, sh a big fee for him. Can we do it? We are. This is where. Stan Kroenke will need, or Josh Kroenke needs to go and ask Daddy for X amount of money for Mikel Arteta to strengthen that squad. You know, to strengthen that area of the um, midfield, and that's a number 10. So, um, that comes to the conclusion of my um, DLG Reppings Daily Transfer. All I can say is, ladies, to the gentlemen, to the boys, to the girls, um, is thank you for watching on this evening. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for listening. And as always, thank you, last but not least, a massive thank you for um, putting up with me. Um, it's the first of my DLG reppings. I'm looking to do it as daily as possible, amongst other videos. And um, please help me. And please help me to... Um, keep it going and so encourage me throughout this um, summer to keep it going with your hard love and support yeah so without further ado um, yeah smash the thumbs up like button share flood my comment section with your thoughts and your opinions obviously keep it um, keep it um, positive feedback only please and subscribe to the channel left right and center smash that subscribe button should i say left right and center galore all over the place and um i'll be back um tomorrow otherwise stay safe be good to yourselves be good to your friends be good to your families always um always do do well for yourself in life no matter what you do you know and um football fans i hope you all look forward to the european championships of 2020 <laughs> i think i am anyway it's good night sleep well and um be nice oh i forgot to say peace bless and love but the main thing is, be nice.